On behalf of America's Best Racing, I'm Joe Christofek, and it's time to get a line on the early odds. The morning line. Is it important? Why is it important? What exactly is the morning line? Well, the morning line is the listing of odds that you'll find in your track program, or if you go on the internet, when you look at the entries on various websites for a given day's racing. Now, the intention is to give the wagering public a general idea of what the odds will be in each race. It's a subjective system and merely one person's educated guess. That's the morning line maker. Now, keep in mind that the morning line odds are not the morning line maker's selections for the race. It's merely a prediction of how the betting public will view that race with their betting dollars. I'm currently the morning line maker for both Arlington Park and Kentucky Downs, and next week I have the distinction of putting together the morning line for the Arlington Million Day program, and with the international influence and horses coming from all over the world to compete against America's best turf horses, it's certainly going to represent a unique challenge. Here's three things you need to know about the morning line. First, the purpose of it. Now, in today's world of simulcasting, it is important that the early odds are as accurate as possible. A racetrack loses credibility when they have a bad morning line, both from the everyday horse player and the newbie. Because the newbie, if they see 15 to 1 on a horse in the morning line and 2 to 1 on the tote board, they don't understand why. So if the morning line odds are completely out of whack with the current odds, the newcomer to the sport will be confused and most likely discouraged by that. Now, factors used in calculating a morning line include a horse's recent form their back class, their current class, their human connections, the jockey and the trainer, and of course the potential pace scenario as well. Horse players also tend to gravitate towards the horses with the higher speed figures, and the horses with the higher and more consistent speed figures are generally the ones that go off as the post-time favorites. The calculation of the morning line. Now, while establishing a morning line may look pretty simple to the naked eye, it actually requires a mathematical formula to be right and to be done correctly. A true morning line must balance based on the points. Now, if there wasn't any takeout in the wind pool, the basis for the point system would be 100. But the line maker must factor in the takeout in order to arrive at an accurate morning line. Now, in commonplace, as far as horse racing goes, the takeout on the wind pool is roughly 17%. Therefore, we add 17 points to the base of 100 and then add a point for every horse in the race. So in a six-horse field, theoretically, it should balance to 123 points. In a 12-horse field, it should balance at 129 points. I give myself a little bit of leeway when I'm making a morning line. Usually, if it falls within those parameters, you know, 126, 127 is usually where I try to fall, regardless of the field size. Now... As we take a look at this chart, you'll see what each individual odds are worth as far as their point values go. 1 to 5, 70 points, for example. Even money, 50 points. The lower the odds, the higher number of points. 2 to 1, 33 points. 3 to 1, 25 points. You look at 5 to 1, 17 points. 10 to 1 is 9 points, and all the way upwards of 50 to 1, which is only 2 points, you'll see the difference between 15 to 1 and 20 to 1 is only 1 point, but the perception between 15 and 20 to 1 may be much greater. And finally, point number 3, learn how to calculate your own morning line. If you want to take your handicapping to the next level, avoid looking at the morning line until after you've handicapped the race card itself. Looking at those early morning line odds can sometimes influence the way you look at a horse or a race. Now, if you learn to make your own morning line, you have three points of reference. You have the actual morning line, your own value line, and also the current odds on the tote board. It may take a little bit more of your time to calculate your own odds, but if you think about it while you're doing it, you're actually handicapping the race card at the same time. So it's certainly an exercise worth learning and an exercise worth executing. By formulating your own odds, you have a better idea of which horses offer value in your eyes. Live it, love it, play it, share it, and bet on it at AmericasBestRacing.net.